What's good fam, Joe and Sam back on the camp and today we are reacting to Uncle Roger Found the Worst Foe by Rachel Ray. We've had this one requested by people on the channel, thank you for the recommendations by the way. Keep them coming for everyone else who's joining us, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and you'll stay up to date with everything we're doing. So now, Sam, we have a bowl full of chilies and some coriander in there. I don't know what, yeah, there's coriander there on the right, I don't know what these other leaves are. Really. To be fair, we've seen foe be made before mm -hmm. and half of it you didn't even get to see. <laughs> yeah, making the broth. The so I'm broth. still unsure about how a foe is meant to be. Okay. And of course you smelt the noodles. <laughs> Why? 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 But anyway, let's find out how Rachel Ray creates the worst foe. <laughs> I also have a bunch of cilantro. If you don't know, cilantro is American for coriander. And Rachel Ray is American for Jamie Oliver. Oh, damn. Oh, new oh. Asian dish. This time we're... Shots fired, bro. Already? That quick? Uh, I'm not worried. Hit yeah. the panic alarm. <laughs> Close the room. Send in the SWAT team. They came down a bit hot there, didn't they, bro? It was just cool. Like. Review American chef Rachel Ray making pho. Pho is Vietnamese national dish. Vietnamese niece and nephew also part of it. Hope she don't mess it up. Pho noodle bowl. We can use a base stock of anything we want. Wait. Base stock of anything we want. No. Oh Cannot just use anything you want, hiya. How many seconds? Eight seconds <laughs> she say wrong thing already. Uncle Roger predict this not gonna go well. Really great pho is bones roasted and slow cooked with great aromatics. Oh, that correct. Maybe won't be this bad because she seemed to know what she talking about. But this niece Rachel look like kind of woman <laughs> who own many live laugh love sign. <laughs> slow cooked with great aromatics. And that's your base. The cheater, cheater can do what we're gonna do right now. Hiya, don't cheat. This food, not marriage. If this recipe for cheater, then we need to show this so to the So she's already Alan. told us it's Fortified a rubbish way of doing it, yeah? I am what? literally defrosting. She's already said she's gonna shortcut it. Beef stock, cause what is this? I am literally defrosting beef stock. What? What? Beef stock. Okay, so, okay, wait, wait, wait. So she must have made her own fresh beef stock at home and then frozen it and defrosted it. Ever get that feeling of deja vu? Deja vu. Deja vu. Fur broth supposed to be transparent. Why your broth look like gravy? Hiya. <laughs> Whole dish already messed up. No way you can make that clean. And okay, so the cleaning process for fur. So what they do is when you cooking the aromatics the meat and stuff like this you have the i'm not sure what the impurities it rises to the top so you continue to like you like it's a type of like sieving or you skim in the top of the uh the dish and you'll keep on taking out all these impurities so you're left with a a, a clear nice broth so that is completely mocky so yeah He's right. Wrong process. And all I did was take an entire bulb of garlic. Garlic, wrong. Asian people, we like garlic. But just because Uncle Roger like it, doesn't mean I should put in pot. Otherwise, I'm gonna cook Nigella Lawson. Fur broth, <laughs> just onion and ginger to start. Garlic gonna overpower the whole broth. Wrong ingredient. <sighs> also, who cut garlic like that? You want to throw whole pop of garlic in? Just throw whole pop. Why the half ass chopping? What for? Trim the end. A good chunk of ginger. Ginger, correct. Healed it. Okay. An onion. All I did was- Onion, correct. That's it. With the root end it's- And she char it, that correct too. Charred it, and I'm sliding it in. So now, the broth, vegetable, beef, chicken, seafood, <laughs> doesn't matter. It matter, it matter. You can't just put random what shit in What is she talking it? about? This, this is utter nonsense. We're back in the Matrix. Why? Come on, man. You the one. You the one. You can do it all. No. Come on, man. No more origato, Mr. Roboto. Look how happy she is. She's the where's Wally of cooking. Where, like, where's this Wally getting these ideas from? Signature flavors of the broth 
in this Vietnamese dish. Again, we're taking a bunch of shortcuts here. No. Why oh. so many shortcuts? Is she sponsored by Waze? Again, we're taking a bunch of shortcuts. <laughs> also, this is not shortcut. Shortcuts still bring you to correct destination. This whole recipe wrong already. You follow this shortcut, you're gonna end up in ocean. Instead <laughs> of using cheesecloth, I literally use a loose tea bag. Okay, smart. Saving money. Bro. And I put in a stick of cinnamon. Cinnamon, correct. No, One no, 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 fresh no, no, no. bay leaf. What? 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 One fresh bay leaf. Bay leaf? <laughs> bay leaf don't even grow in Vietnam. Why? Who, who put bay leaf in pho? Look in Vietnam, nobody import bay leaf to put in pho. What she doing? Is she gonna add chili jam later? Hiya. White and black peppercorn. Peppercorn wrong again. So random. A few star anise. Okay, star anise correct. And three pods. Of cardamom. Cardamom, correct. And then I'm going to take the shoelaces. Wait, that, that all? Tie them onto the side of the pot. Hiya, she missing so many things. Clove, coriander, seed, fennel, fish sauce, MSG. Like, where your MSG? Why you don't use MSG? You already messed up. At least MSG, save a little bit. In Vietnam street food store, they just put MSG on table. Use it like salt and pepper. Never kill anyone yet, so don't be pussy. Eat your MSG. Many people say MSG give them headache, and Uncle Roger say good food worth getting headache for. King of flavor give you headache? Why so weak? So, so weak. weak. Have you ever eaten any food that's given you a headache? Fair enough. We have a chili challenge on the way soon. <laughs> that's a joke. Tie them onto the side of the pot. Uncle Roger still can't get over why the broth so dirty. Squid Game should have one game where they ask people to make clean broth. Contestants should be Miss Rachel and Nephew Nick. They both gonna die. <laughs> Tie them onto the side of the pot. Today I use the what? small steaks. What? Here, they're little sirloins. Is that the meat for f Is this? Nah, the set is happening again, okay? Smaller than last time, the British foe, she cooked a whole slab, a whole steak, as the way it was. This time, we've got steak bites. Still not what is supposed to have nice, thinly sliced pieces of meat to sit in the fur and cook. I am... I'm so confused. It happens a lot on this channel, bro. Do you know we're just seeing these... What do you like to call it? Putting a twist on things. <laughs> but these twists are getting out of hand. Fur? Today I use these small steaks. Hiya, that beef so thick. Uncle Roger must be seeing wrong. That cannot be the beef of fur. Today I use that, that, that beef too thick for fur. Have you seen fur, Miss Rachel? Beef in fur should be. Don't get me wrong, that amount of beef would be nice in a beef stew. Yeah? That would be, that would be really nice. Yeah, in a beef stew. This ain't beef stew. This is fur. I don't know, it's not f up. This is fur? No, I don't know what the f this is. So it's not fair. No, it's not fair. Daddy wasn't there to take me to the fair to change my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you cook just by pouring broth on it but this beef thicker than Liz so how to eat how to eat <laughs> and simply pick do not chop pick Thai basil and Thai mint is what I have pick or chop both fine that not even your problem <laughs> guess what if you can't buy Thai basil and Thai mint okay that's what it is guess what you can buy no Mint in Italian no, basil. No, no, no. Italian basil. Mm-hmm. Italian. Bro, I wonder what else. There's probably going to be a big dollop of mayonnaise at the side of this in the garlic, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the Asian inspired, isn't it? <laughs> Cannot replace Thai stuff with Italian stuff. They both don't taste same. If you cannot buy Thai basil, then just don't make fun. Go support your local Vietnamese restaurant. Eat your fur there. If you don't live near good Vietnamese restaurant, then move to better city. 
Get some culture. <laughs> Even cowboy can can get sushi in middle of nowhere. Guess what my favorite food is? It is sushi. You got no excuse. Her <laughs> cooking so bad. You see that? Even her dog fuck off. I also have a bunch of cilantro. Cilantro, correct. If you don't know, cilantro is American for coriander. And Rachel Ray is American for Jamie Oliver. I divided the bean sprout, correct? Without the woody stems of Thai basil, chili, good too. Cilantro and mint. I had in the fridge uh, some bean sprouts from the other day. Good. These beautiful, literally, it says on the package. Okay, that fur look correct. At least she used right type of noodle. So slightly better than Jamie Oliver. He thinks Definitely so far better than Jamie same Oliver. Thing. Rice noodles. Okay, she's cooking and the noodle this now. This company Good. says six minutes. All right, let's start on the rice noodles. Okay, that correct time to use call and duck. Six minutes per hour package direction. And I'm just gonna give him a rinsing with cold water, correct? Yeah. Also, good, good, good. Making Stops a little the mess. Process. No, that's not enough. You have to leave it to dry first. Your noodles still. Yeah, exactly. So once the noodles are done, you should be taking them out, giving them a, a rinse to wash away any um, extra starch that could be attached, and to also um, stop the cooking process of the noodles because if they overcook, then they turn to mush. So that's what that does. I just try to hope that with, with the noodles. Yeah. Because she got the right noodles. Yeah. She cooked it properly. She ah. used coriander. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. She used what? Colander. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you was trying to say coriander there. I was a bit confused. No, nah, colander. Yeah, we're well, to what he said. Coriander. One pot. No, no, no. It's already happened. <laughs> <laughs> she rinsed it. Yeah. And then she just took the soggy noodle off the... She's about to just yeah. put it back in wet. You're supposed to right. leave it a bit. See, you spread it out as if you have like as much wide surface as possible. Spread it out. It will dry quicker. Wet high. Classic way to do this is to put the protein in the dish raw. Don't say That's classic. Correct. But your beef too thick. Not with Cover that. It or let it steep in a deep bowl. You would need mm. a deeper bowl than this. The way I think you're going to. Uh oh. It, no. I took out our aromatics. No. Don't, don't tell. No. Okay. No. And the ginger Put the beef shrimp. down. No. no. All we have she left is our worse, bag but... of spice. No. Put, no, no, no. What's she do? What's she doing? No. <laughs> that... Just turn it off. I see why it's called the worst. I get it. You're just going to boil the meat in the broth. This ain't a fur. No, how you cook beef for fur? It's a Uncle fun. Roger, see this? I have to put my leg down from chair. I'm so upset. That beef is supposed to just cook with the broth, but not throw it into the broth. Hiya. You do that, you're gonna overcook the beef. You're gonna dirty, dirty up the, the broth. broth. Yeah. Yes, Rachel. You're making all the all impurities from the meat are gonna come now. out. You're killing the broth. You're killing the beef. It all fucked. <laughs> it's gonna continue. No way to save this now. What we have left is our bag of spice. Look, look what I'm doing. Oh, not again. About a minute <laughs> in, because it's gonna continue to cook. Take the protein and pile it on top of it. Throw this out, feed to your dog. Your noodles, okay? Oh, the beef looks so overcooked. Look like rubber. What are you doing, Miss Rachel? Now we're going to take the bowls and add the lime juice. Why? Lime cannot save this. Even Jesus giving up on this fun. <laughs> Over our protein of choice. And then Why don't people care about textures and stuff as well? Do you know when you're trying to recreate a dish? There are certain flavours that are like crucial. Yeah, there's certain flavours that are crucial. There's certain textures, certain things. And like, so save with a fur. The meat itself being so thinly sliced, it was like, remember eating sliced beef in school? The gravy? Real nice, the texture's really thin, and it adds, it's part of the eating experience of the dish itself. And it's the same thing here, this is literally half a steak dinner chopped in with a bag of noodles. Joe, you forget. Uh-huh. This is America. America, fuck yeah! Come in again to save the mother <laughs> Everything's bigger in America. Well, I thought including just, thinly sliced meats. I thought it was just more dramatic. I mean, he's running around like, like he's on fire. Oh my God, help me! I don't want to die. 
Oh. You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. Then what do we do? Oh, throw it up. Well, of course, we use our beautiful <laughs> fortified really broth. Open. She say beautiful. Well, of course, we use our beautiful fortified broth. This broth look like toilet water. <laughs> what a beautiful. If you think this broth beautiful, I think your glasses don't work. And I mean, go. Go? What you mean go? You mean go home and cry? Because that's what Uncle Roger gonna do. The <laughs> herbs, the chilies, the bean sprouts, the meat, the noodle, everything. This Karen just destroy fur. <laughs> Uncle Roger sad now. You just destroy Vietnam national dish. I think another Vietnam war gonna happen. This is fucking terrible. Well, another one bites the dust. There's another attempt at fur. Absolutely bastardized. <laughs> yeah. Messed up. It looked like a five minute dish. That broth with your little tea bag in that didn't, it was missing so many things in it. Your broth was dirty. Okay, and then you added meat in it and you dirted it again. Who's teaching you? Where are you learning that this is okay? I don't understand. Do you? What is a professional chef? I'm gonna ponder this for a little bit now. We've seen a few of them. Because so far, we've seen quite a few professional chefs. Well known, very well known professional <laughs> chefs. They're just taking all these traditional dishes and just completely butchering them. Yeah. Like, we've only seen a couple of professional chefs that actually stick to the tradition of the dishes. Basically, Stop letting white people cook these dishes! Wait, no, because Gordon did a good job with a couple, didn't he? That's because he has some form of respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm talking about these other ones. <laughs> <laughs> like Jamie Oliver, Rachel Way, that <laughs> on the. <laughs> on this morning. Holy s**t! <laughs> Kay! <laughs> well, just ban all these people from making food! They would have nothing to watch, bro. <laughs> I don't care! I'd rather see dishes done properly and get hungry by oh. it. <laughs> then watch this abomination! Oh, bro. We're gonna let Sam deflate a bit of therapy. Outside walk in <laughs> nature will sort him out. <laughs> Maybe he needs a bowl of fur. <laughs> like this. <laughs> no, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know what to do. And we'll catch you next time. Peace. I'm not ending this here. <laughs> I'm doing it.